Which target? Which target? All right. Right at the top of the head. Uh, eight Mr. Great Shot here. Um, I'm going to talk today about. Boom. Right there it is, the intimidation factor. This is the M1 Garand. Okay, not loaded. This is a Springfield M1 Garand. Um, this particular gun is a World War II variant. Uh, the interesting part about the history on this one, though, was uh, after the, the war essentially ended in Europe for the Americans, uh, this rifle right here was left there. And it was picked up by the... Uh, people of Denmark and the government of Denmark used it and they rebarreled it in 1957 and, and then uh, in the 70s this came back to this country um, and it was picked up by a collector and then of course uh, it was bought from my father for Christmas a couple years ago uh, it uh, is very accurate. I have, we have video. Uh, I mean, super, super accurate. This is a pretty neat, neat old gun to shoot. They got really fine rifle sights on there, peep sight. Uh, it's 30 out six caliber. Um, it does hold eight rounds, and this is a clip, not a magazine. This is a clip-fed weapon. A lot of people don't know the difference. Uh, there are stripper clips, and this is uh, more or less a uh, internal stripper clip, basically. Uh, it loads from the top, and that's uh, basically how it works. Uh, you just take it and you dump it down there, and bring the action forward. Here's your safety. You click it off. Boom, you have instant rifle. Um, I can just imagine some Japanese or some German, I mean, just getting obliterated by a 30 out six round, um, which the government calls a 30 caliber. Um, civilian world is a 30 out six. You can see it's a, quite a mass. So I think these are 180 grain, um, but I think for the most part, uh, uh, surplus military stuff is like 150 grain uh, full metal jacket um, Angel Badshot loves to shoot this gun too we don't shoot it a whole lot because it is all original all the uh, numbers match um, the uh, the barrel was changed like I said in Denmark um, and it's got all the I don't know if you can see it right there it's got all the proof markings right there okay um, but uh, so we, we don't shoot it a whole lot it does belong to my dad and I'm sure if I wanted to I could shoot as much as I want because I, you know I'll fix it or get it repaired but uh, we're, I don't want to do that uh, since for two years that uh, my dad's owned this weapon or this rifle uh, we've put uh, uh, right at 40 rounds through it so two 20 round boxes um, the most he ever shot at one time was the video that I'll put with this um, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys this I talked about it before in a video but uh, I didn't put no shooting video with it but this gun is really a tag driver guys I'm not even playing I was uh, really surprised and uh, one of the older guys uh, that uh, runs the range there 
came over and looked at it and he confirmed what I already knew and he showed us a couple of neat little tricks you know how you can take a sh sh clip put two rounds in it and twist it to where they're they're, they're uh, crossed like this inside the uh, stripper and then you can actually take it push it down there and it'll lock just like it had eight rounds in it and you can just fire two rounds at a time so uh, that's that um, by the way just a quick cleaning tip on these um, I actually took the time to read the uh, service manual on it they're not big on oil for these uh, they they want this uh, grease and I use uh, basically this is it's a it's a really light grease um, that I got specifically for this um, I don't know exactly the reason why they don't like uh, they don't recommend the oil uh, so much but they recommend the grease um, so that's what I use on this and apparently you know worked out this thing's uh, stocks in really really good shape uh, there's a letter P right here um, it's got the metal butt plate uh, I don't know it's you know missing one D ring but that's not a big deal um, I don't have any bayonet for it or anything like that um, but my father always wanted a uh, M1 Grand and we were going to get him a, a, a new one but then uh, my gun dealer said hey I know a guy that actually has real ones that that didn't come from CMP um, and he's had them for years and he's looking to let go of some of them because he had a bunch of them so uh, uh, he brought us one of the finer ones and this was it and everything he said was true so very often you get somebody that uh, is actually telling you the whole truth so anyways that's it I'll put some shooting video with it and uh, this is Mr. Grayshot saying treat your fellow man the way you want to be treated and guns don't go off by themselves people later Touch high, touch right.